Good morning everybody. Just want to go ahead and review another video that I did shooting the NRL Force of Fire for the month of July. This is Barricade 2 where you have to shoot off the tank trap. You have to shoot off the leg left and right and then center of the tank trap at targets out to 40 and 75 yards I believe. I had a really hard time with this and I just want to go over some of the things that I noticed I did wrong and then see where I can make some improvements along the way. Stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and review this video. So first thing you'll see is a pick of my bag, but I leave my bipod on. So as soon as I go on the clock, I realize it, and I have to drop my bipod off of my rifle and then try and get down in my shooting position. This required you to shoot off of each leg of the, of the tank trap. And one issue that I did have is one I dialed for the far away targets at 75 yards, but I failed to uh, dial for the paper. Now, as you can see here, I'm fiddling around trying to get the round to either inject or uh, feed into the chamber. What happened is, is my magazine is resting on my shooting bag and it is forcing the magazine too far into the firearm, forcing that round to sit too high and not get a good, not allowing the bolt to get a good seat on the rear of the round, pick it up and put it in the chamber. This happened to me twice. And then I have obviously I had to break my shooting position, get everything reset, refine the target, and then go for paper. I had a really tough time with this one. As you can see, I thought I needed to possibly take a fourth shot from there, but I didn't. I needed to move over to the other side of the tank trap and go from there. Wasted a lot of time on this. Probably could have zoomed out my magnification on the top of it. Just not having a great of a run on this one. Uh, I'm clearly running out of time. I'm getting a little rushed. As you can see, now I dial for paper. But by this point, I should have just held over, or held, excuse me, held under and gone from there. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of time trying to be really precise, but when you only have 120 seconds, there's not a whole lot of time to go. Here I think I get into the shooting position with 15 seconds left and I'm able to get some good hits here, get some good impacts on target, but I think my second shot was after timing did not count. So what we can see is I have some work to do. Not only do I need to make sure that my rifle is set up for the stage that I'm about to shoot, I need to make sure that my magazine is not resting on my shooting bag and positional shoots such as shooting off this tank trap because it will force uh, a possible misfeed in my particular weapons platform. Also, I don't know if you catched it, but my safety lever engaged. Again, I need to figure out how I'm running my bolt forward that is engaging my safety like this or when I'm bringing it back, if a finger is catching it or something like that, I don't know what's going on. So I need to identify what's going on and why I'm catching that magazine. <laughs> I didn't dial for the paper. Uh, and then I dial too late, so I need to figure out if I'm going to dial or hold and just stay that way for the stage, unless I'm coming to a drier situation where I'm just completely missing and I got the rump dope in my rifle. Um, and then I think my biggest thing on this one was poor time management. I think I let the bipod and the magazine issue fluster me in the very beginning, and therefore I was trying to get too perfect, uh, too perfect on the paper and went from there. All right, thanks for staying to, uh, Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for staying with me during this video. I know it's kind of long. Uh, I kind of like doing these little longer videos. I think it's cool. I think it gives an opportunity for me to share my shooting experiences with you guys, but also for you guys to offer me some critiques. So I think that's super cool. Go ahead. I don't know what format I'm posting this on. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button. Uh, share it if you want to, do me a favor, and uh, hit all those buttons for me, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Later, guys.